I'm making a simple shadow box to uh, watch the uh, eclipse on Monday. And I'm just, get, just using a uh, box that uh, my dust devil came in. <laughs> I'm using the long part of it so I get the biggest picture possible. I got a little light that I can see what I'm doing inside. And what I've done is I've taken a piece of paper and taped it to the back wall after I cut it to size because an eight and a half by eleven is a uh, piece of paper is a little bit big for the bottom or this box anyway and I just taped it uh, and I cut the tape so that it would uh, fit within the uh, the width of the, the box now if I was just to close up the box like this on the opposite end where the paper is and I try to cut a square there it would push that down and I would not be able to cut it so I'm going to mark the uh, width of the uh, flap on this mark on this uh, flap here and I'm going to cut I'm going to cut out part of this flap, just like that, and then I'm going to take, yeah, and so I'm going to do the same thing on this side except the opposite side, because I want my eye over here in the hole to view, view the sun through here on this diagonal. So, I mark that, and I cut that. Now, Vermeer, when he painted his beautiful paintings of young women sewing or cleaning windows. He was a uh, Dutch painter from the oh, three or four hundred years ago to a couple hundred years ago. There's a theory that he used a shadow box to cast the image onto his canvas. And uh, there's a modern day gentleman who took, now see this is the uh, part where the uh, flap is missing just under here, so I'm just going to cut a little hole. Anyway, there's a modern day gentleman who uh, made, did an experiment. He had no talent whatsoever to paint, and uh, he made a shadow box similar to what would have been used by artists back in the uh, 15, 1600s, and maybe even earlier. Tape it shut. And uh, he literally reproduced the quality of paintings or painting that Vermeer would have done using that method of a shadow box. In other words, shadow box or, or with a pinhole projecting an actual image from his studio onto a canvas. And it's in a fascinating all right, since I cut uh, the uh, flap on this side and the opposite uh, side diagonally, I know that there's no flap underneath there, so I can just go ahead and cut me a hole for my eyeball. Pull it through. 
you know, this would be a fun project for your kids. If you've got kids, oh, well, you know what? <laughs> that thing fell in. <laughs> oh, well. Now, I could put a piece of this blue tape. I think it would block the sun. But I'm going to do what they say on YouTube. And I'm going to take a small piece of aluminum foil. And cut it into a square. I'm going to smooth it out. Put it. I'll put it right there over the hole and tape it in there. Uh, let's see if I got my nail here. Oh, I got it in my pocket. Yeah. And you just poke a hole. I'm just using a, a small little. I don't know if you can see it. Let me small pet uh, nail. I'm using a small nail, one of these with uh, no head on it. Poke a hole into my aluminum foil. There, nice clean little pinhole. Retape this all up and uh, seal all the holes, and I'll go outside and look at the sun and see if I can see. I'm going to put this on here for, to protect my tape or my uh, aluminum foil. So that when I'm not using it, it's not tearing the little foil. Then you just drop it and uh, you can use it. Hey, how about that? All right, let's go outside and take a look. The sun is right there. And uh, I took the little flap off the uh, thing here because the wind blew the flap over the hole, so it kind of defeated the whole purpose. All right, I'm gonna have to see if I can see the sun. Wow. If you know the general direction, it comes up real quick. And it shows up really brightly on the uh, back paper. I'm gonna try to show this in the camera. I don't know, I can't see what I'm seeing. Uh, there we go. There it is. Okay. Uh, there's a hole. And I'm... Take my word for it. It works. All right. Good night.